International School, and I present this number of drawings from my, uni from my university to this uh, school. And uh, before the exhibition, I was asked to speak in English. I don't know why. I my <laughs> language, my language is rather understandable, but it's okay. And so uh, the main purpose of uh, this exhibition is to shed the light on the culture, on Russian culture, on our traditions, and especially Russian architecture, because. Uh, I want to say that it's my first experience of traveling. I have never been abroad before. And I wondered uh, what foreigners think about Russia. What do they know about Russia, especially, for example, architecture? And uh, so it made, it made me a bit disappointed because I saw that two less people know something about Russia. And if I ask somebody, to say several words about Russia, these words will be like uh, massive woods, uh, cold, and uh, famous uh, strong drink. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and now uh, I'm going to tell you something about architecture, and I hope you will be interested in everything that I'm going to tell you. So Siberia is the sixth largest city in uh, Irkutsk. I'm sorry, Irkutsk is the sixth largest city in Siberia, and it is located in the eastern part of Siberia on the banks of the Angara River, with the confluence with uh, Irkut River, hence the name of the city. And it's about 50 kilometers from the lake Baikal. Maybe you heard about it, the deepest lake in Russia and the coldest and about 5,200 kilometers from Moscow to the east, and it's only the middle of Russia. So Irkutsk was founded in 1661. At that time it was a small settlement playing a role uh, as a gold and fur trade center. Uh, the settlement received the status of a town in uh, 1686, and later in 1760, the Siberian road connected the European part of Russia uh, with Siberia and Irkutsk in particular. And uh, it was the reason of further economic growth of uh, Siberia and Irkutsk. From the beginning of the 19th century, Siberia in general and Irkutsk in particular became the place where a lot of Russian officers and nobles uh, were exiled for taking part in the Semperist uprising against the Tsar Nicholas I. And at the end of the 19th century, about 30% of uh, Irkutsk population consisted of exiles. And it was one of the reasons why the city uh, became the cultural and educational center of Siberia. But don't think that uh, these exiles was uh, murderers and thieves. Uh, most of them were very educated and uh, very famous uh, people in Russia, and they uh, brought knowledge in Siberia and in Kursk. Uh The city center was included in the list of the UNESCO cultural heritage sites and the oldest layer of Irkutsk architecture, this wooden one, is especially interesting. Uh, as you can see, all these buildings are made of wood. Uh, wood was the main construction material both in Siberia and in, in Russia. Just like other old Siberian cities, Irkutsk was built like a jail fortress uh, on the high bank around, around with this settlement was uh, formed. It was possible to erect houses from the wood because it was very uh, cheap and uh, it was very accessible. Uh, the first settlers of Irkutsk came from the central and northern regions, regions of Russia, so the appearance of the city was almost the same like in Moscow and in the north parts of Russia. 
Uh, also manners with ground floors and household buildings of the early period can be seen in uh, open air museum named Telsi. Uh, it's about 15 kilometers from Irkutsk. Uh, there is no point of mentioning uh, these buildings uh, because all these buildings were made uh, in, in the same period and in the same style and these buildings, almost all these buildings, are in the city center of Irkutsk. So the influence of capitals on architecture of Irkutsk has become noticeable over time and the same change of styles as in Moscow and St. Petersburg uh, was also in Siberia and in Irkutsk but with a sound delay. Uh, the old tent shaped golf rice and the wooden houses were built until the second half of uh, 18th century. And uh, also Baroque forms were used until 1830s. Uh, I'm, and I want to, to, to add that it is a Siberian Baroque. So, uh, wooden architecture of Siberia of 16th uh, to 18th centuries is characterized by great simplicity and severity. Uh, houses and huts of both village and city residents were constructed from large logs about uh, 35 to uh, 40 centimeters deep, as you can see, in, for example, there. These are details of a big uh, construction. They pressed down and created the necessary strength and made uh, the houses stable. Because it is explainable, because you heard about a weather in Siberia uh, and it was very necessary to, to houses to be very stable. Uh, the roofs were mostly high and gable. Uh, one more distinguishing feature in houses of Irkutsk was uh, the almost ubiquitous presence of shutters. Uh, this was connected to the fact that there had been a uh, high crime level in Siberia for a long time and people wanted their houses to be very, uh, very like uh, fortresses, they made, uh, they tried to make them s uh, safe as possible, they, and also they made fences and gates, stone ground floors and shutters. But over th over time, this tradition uh, had changed, and here, as you can see, uh, shutters are very complicated and uh, full of many details. And uh, uh, after time, uh, over time, they they like uh, they were very decorated, etc. So, in addition to this, wooden buildings have been preserved on many streets in historical center of Irkutsk. The exception is Karl Marx Street, it's the main street of Irkutsk, where it was decided not to build wooden houses. Uh, ever before, uh, ever again after the Great Fire of 1879. And uh, many houses of the age exceeding a century uh, are still used as housing. And some of them post offices and shops nowadays. So thank you for your great attention. <laughs> so <laughs> um, so did you take photographs of all these buildings? What, can you tell us a bit about these pictures? Yes, of course. Uh, these buildings are, all exist and mm -hmm. uh, they primarily in the city centre of Irkutsk. But as you can see, uh, some of them are not in good condition mm -hmm. yeah. nowadays. And as you can see in this picture, is a 
the December's house, mm -hmm. and nowadays it's like a museum. Uh, you can see it there, there. Uh, it is very important for for people in Siberia to to keep these houses safe. And but nowadays it's uh, extremely difficult because I don't want to talk about politics and other yeah, problems. Yeah, okay. <laughs> my problem, but uh, uh, it takes too much money and time and efforts to make make them restored. And uh, we said about pictures, and it's like a, a, after the first year we have some practice. We made photos. Uh, made, we made some engagements of these old buildings and it also help, uh, helps to, to collect information about these old buildings and uh, it will help for architect, architect uh, to, to restore these buildings. Mm -hmm. and, and so, who actually drew these pictures and why? We have, we have some kind of practice after the second year I'm sorry, I don't know how to call it in English, okay. but uh, it's a kind of education process. Uh, every student must to um, to draw a certain number of drawings uh, with the details and the whole buildings, and then they are assessed by our teachers, and then we. Gets, we get marks from our drawings. But I cannot understand. Is it, yeah. it is a, a draw, draw, or it's a draw on the picture? Like I have a picture yes. and draw on the picture. Ah, no, 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 it's a draw, no, draw. No, no, we go outside uh -huh. and to draw. And yes. draw. Yes. 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 So, and Carol, all of these students who, who made these drawings, they're all second year students. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. And people in Siberia are often excited. Yeah. Uh, when they see people, many people, many students, mm. sitting maybe on the ground or maybe on the chairs and drawing these buildings. <laughs> because many people don't understand the value of, yeah. of these uh, buildings. And they cannot understand why students, especially, draw these buildings, yeah. and why our university, for example, pays great attention for these buildings. So, um, just more about the actual pictures themselves. Yeah. The um, the university um, keeps the originals. These are a print yes. of the original pictures. Yes. What size would the original picture have been? Mm. Okay. Yeah. And then they keep them, and then are they are they viewed? Are they put on exhibition for others to see inside the university, or do they kind of get put away? Uh, <laughs> um, the, my university doesn't keep these uh, drawings, all these drawings, because there are, I suppose, millions of these ah, drawings, okay. and uh, I will present you the. the originals of these drawings, but unfortunately I didn't have enough time to prepare, <laughs> and so I was just giving uh, yeah. copies. It's and, fantastic. Yes, and uh, of course uh, these drawings are kept in our, uh, in our university, and it's like, a, we call it fund of our university, of mm -hmm. our department. Okay, and the students can't keep them for themselves? Uh, no. <laughs> the best, the best uh, drawings are chosen by our teachers and uh, they are kept in the university. Yes. <laughs> Did you draw one of them? Uh, no, unfortunately, uh, because um, it was like a rash before leaving Russia and I didn't know that I will present you this works. <laughs> If Next I, year. Yes. <laughs> if I knew, of course, I will prepare my works. I have uh, some drawings, but the topic of these drawings is different. 
because I need to participate in different uh, competitions and I need to prepare my own drawings, but uh, the topic is different, unfortunately. <laughs> What one's your favourite? All of all of these. Oh, it's tricky. Nice <laughs> uh, I don't know exactly. Okay. <laughs> if if it will be my drawing, I will show you. <laughs> Have a favourite building from having done this project yourself. Do you have a building that you particularly, uh, particularly fond of? Yes, uh, I think it is this museum because, uh, as you can see, there are a lot of oases and it's very complicated, many details, and it is. It was accurately restored, and uh, I think that uh, people that living in this house must be proud mm. of this building. <laughs> so, and if you don't mind, I want you to make a photo together. Sure. Oh, that's nice. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You're